air humidification in hospitals. A supply with hygienically impeccable room air is essential in hospitals. This is because a weakened body leads to the immune system being particularly susceptible to pathogens. In many areas of a hospital, there is the risk of a nosocomial infection, by which the patient becomes infected through germs originating not from out, but from inside the hospital. In a university hospital in north central USA, with about 250 beds, a survey was conducted on this in 10 patient rooms. Over a period of 13 months, room temperature, absolute and relative humidity, room air changes and carbon dioxide content were measured and analysed in the patient rooms on an hourly basis. The survey results show very clearly that hospital infections are inversely proportional to relative air humidity. The reason these infections occur, especially in the cold, dry time of the year, is that in dry air, germs <laughs> spread particularly well via droplet infections. In dry air, the germ droplets also dry out. They lose weight quickly, become lighter and float for a long time through the room, covering large distances. At an air humidity of 40 to 60%, however, the germ droplets remain large, heavy and inert. They sink quickly to the ground, reducing their distribution in the room air. Another reason is the water content of the germ droplet itself. Alongside the germs, a germ droplet consists of water and salts. In dry air, the water evaporates from the germ droplets, the salts crystallize and preserve the germs. Therefore, dry germ droplets remain infectious for a long time. At an optimal room air humidity in the range of 40 to 60%, the salts remain dissolved in the water of the germ droplet. Due to the high salt concentration, the germs are killed off rapidly. Professional air humidification is therefore an active measure of infection prevention and helps the patient recover quickly. We would be glad to support you too in finding an energy-efficient and demand-oriented air humidification system.